And being introduced to the nature of, of my mind was very powerful because uh, the invitation like you had from Kyle, stop thinking for a moment and recognize what remains. And what remains when you stop thinking? There is a sense of alertness, the power to know. It's what uh, look into your eyes, what's listening to these words. It's, uh, it's at the basis of everything that appears. That's open intelligence. In the, in the talk today, it was awareness. But now we call it open intelligence just so we have so many ideas about awareness, so just to keep it very direct. It's your own open open intelligence, because it's open like a cloudless sky, it's completely open. Our mind is so open. You notice that, right? It's so even though we have thoughts, emotion, that's okay. So you stop thinking, you recognize open intelligence, and then when the thoughts coming, that's open intelligence too. They are inseparable from open intelligence. So it's a, it's, a, it's a very powerful key point to know that whether we have thoughts or we don't have thoughts, open intelligence, our own open intelligence is always present. So that's just the introduction to open intelligence and the practice that we have in Balanced View, we call it short moments of open intelligence, repeated many times until it becomes continuous. And what does it mean? In every short moment, we can recognize open intelligence by resting our mind and body completely, just for a short moment, with everything that comes up. Yeah, it can be just anything now, right? We said unpredictable. Now the drums stopped, <laughs> but they might come up again, <laughs> right? So then a short moment, a short moment of relaxation a short moment of resting as you are, without doing anything, not trying to change it to positive thinking. Even if you're really skilled at that, I know I was so skilled in being positive, but it was suddenly, wow, even that I don't need to do? It's amazing. I don't need to be positive. It was such a relief. Okay, I can just be negative, nasty in my thoughts. <laughs> but then relying on the power of open intelligence, it, it really um, opened up a new understanding of, of the way I, I see things, of the way I see myself. And, and, and naturally, I was able to really um, take responsibility for my actions, for my mind, for, so that you can do now short moments of relaxation. Try to be positive. Don't try to do that. Just let it be as it is. Let the, the thought be as it is without doing anything. It's so easy, so easy, but extremely powerful. Try that, huh? <laughs> it's exciting. And then also if you see <coughs> that you try to um, indulge in your thoughts, like the example of a desire, going into marriage and kids, that's so difficult. And even, it's fine, but then also try just to let desire be as it is, instead of acting on it you know, maybe flirting, uh, doing the look. <laughs> and then instead, you just let desire be as it is. And by letting it be as it is, it's self-release. It's self-release like a line drawn in water. It leaves no trace. It doesn't mean that you don't do anything in your life and you just sit and let everything be as it is and nothing goes. <laughs> Actually, it's really the opposite. It's, uh, it brings up so much beneficial energy. The energy that we spent for so many years to look at ourselves, to try to rearrange our thoughts and feelings to be a better person, try to be better tomorrow. <laughs> you know, like I had a thought, okay, tomorrow I will, uh, I will manage with my diet. <laughs> I don't know. Or tomorrow I will try to be more compassionate, more open. Or if it was relationship with my family, Tomorrow I will not criticize my sister. You know, like it was, and each time I planned that, but then it didn't really work, something she said. 
or a very beautiful cake <laughs> and a very beautiful person. And then immediately just uh, a completely uh, uh, disoriented. <laughs> you can be distracted by my thoughts and feelings and it was every day the same, every day the same. <laughs> really bad. But it was funny to rely on these thoughts and emotions that changing all the time. Really, it was tiring. So for me, being introduced to open intelligence was very powerful because I can tap into this stability about myself, something that is always reliable, my own open intelligence. I can let it be as it is, whatever it is, and really just open up to my discernment and insight know what to do, what to say. Not immediately, like just being an excellent person, but just naturally coming about. Like we all know what is of most benefit, but sometimes we feel so overwhelmed, right? By emotions and feelings. We all have our own unique circumstances. So for me, just to have this amazing support system of balanced view, to have short moments of open intelligence, and just to, to um, make that more clear, short moment is not like an effort. You don't need to um, effort for short moment. It's a short moment whenever you remember to do so. So it's like in an easy going way. You walk and are you busy or you're not busy or you just about to sleep or you are sleeping now <laughs> during the meeting or, or you um, having a conversation or you with your, with your brother. <laughs> and then you can naturally remember short moment where you can just rest mind and body completely rather than indulging your thoughts, having all kinds of descriptions that don't lead anywhere. Yeah, And also uh, trying to um, be positive or avoiding situations. So that was another way for me of not really uh, letting things be as they are. I try to avoid situations, feelings and emotions. So instead, short moment was really like aligning myself with everything as it is. Being very mature about reality as it is, but also gaining confidence one moment at a time. Because, of course, at the beginning, it was not really um, easy to let data about myself that were negative to be as they are. Like if it's jealousy or a feeling like I'm less than another person comparing myself to others and not having enough confidence, uh, feeling afraid, feeling unloved, feeling shy. So all these feelings, we are not really, I didn't let them be as they are before. So suddenly it was an amazing opportunity to open up to what is possible for me when I allow this data, thoughts, feelings, emotions to be exactly as they are, without doing anything about it. And it's, it's truly amazing because they, they, there is um, a complete stability available in each short moment of open intelligence. So that's, that's the powerful practice of balanced view. And then the, there is a, an entire support for that, like you had the trainings, and in the trainings, we have an amazing text that evoke this instinctive recognition of open intelligence. It's like instinctive, it means that you don't need to understand anything. You can come completely just open and that's it. And that's a relief. And something in the text will just become obvious in your experience. And that's how it become obvious to me. And the texts are just evoking this recognition and guiding into how to apply short moments in everyday life. So that's the training. It's amazing. And the community, that's also one of the means to recognize open intelligence. Just sitting here, you, you see. And most people are relying on open intelligence and, and, and participating in training and then demos, demonstrate this power the beneficial power of open intelligence. So it's really easy. No one will gossip about you here. Um, everyone will let you and us be exactly as we are. And that's also a very powerful tool. 
And, and lastly is the trainers. So coming to the meetings and asking questions and just clarifying your own experience, where you are at, what do you want to ask, what do you want to know in order to practice open intelligence. So all of this really allows us to rest naturally with everything that comes up. And now with, the, with, the, with family members, it's, it's so um, powerful to let them be as they are. You know, it's, once you let yourself be as you are, then it's really easy to, to recognize that if you had the same data as the other person, you will act in the same way. And in this way, you can naturally connect. Even if the other person doesn't want to connect with you, which can happen often, you can still remain open. And open intelligence allows you to be entirely open and responsive to, I don't know, just suddenly invite them for dinner <laughs> or just buy a small gift or, or write a card. So it's like you don't have to do it, but... It just gives you all kinds of options rather than focusing on what is not possible. Open intelligence, it's, uh, it's our natural uh, way of being. It's completely natural. It's so natural that it's, it's, uh, it's surprising how natural it is <laughs> because it's, it's about being of benefit to ourselves and everyone, and that's what we truly want. We want to be of benefit, but sometimes we... We think we don't know how to do it. Or we really want to know how to do it, but then again we are distracted by our data streams. So you see that tool, if you test it today, see whatever if you meet your <laughs> desirous person or you meet a person that you completely hate, short moments will allow you to see what is of most benefit. You can just test it. See it with annoyance or complain, or feeling completely negative, are you, you just completely stable as you are. You don't need to do anything. And come back here or join the training to really see how you can uh, implement that practice in your everyday life.